Okay, bro, so what's happening? Like, why am I here? All right, so today, guys, um, what we're going to do, well, actually, for those of you that don't know, uh, the cameraman, the guy who films all my videos for YouTube, his name is Tyrell, we call him Tids, he has decided that on January the 1st, he is going to start his transformation. He's going to join the JF Challenge. Um, he's, he's overweight, he eats a lot of junk food, he doesn't exercise, no cardio, his life pretty much revolves around eating licorice, garlic bread and packets of chips. <laughs> he yeah. wants to change. Remember when so, we did the hike? Yeah, we went on a hike with the Team GRF, um, everyone had, you know, their fitness based meals and then Tyrell has his... There's a whole day of exercise and he brings... Sherbet fizz licorice and garlic bread. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but that's just Tyrell and that's who he is. However, he has decided he wants to change, he wants to get healthier, and he wants to get in shape. So January the 1st, we are starting a transformation. We're going to document the whole thing. Um, it's December right now, and he doesn't know this, but we're going to actually go pull him out of the JRF office. We're going to take him to his house, and we're going to start by cleaning out his pantry, cleaning out his fridge, and then we're going to get some before pictures of what he's currently looking like. He's got no idea this is happening, so, so we're going to go into the office now and grab him. general clean We might even clean up his house while we're at it. But. Yeah. So he, We've never been to his house. Have you been to so, his house? Yeah, I have. I have. I know where we're going. So he thinks that, like, he thinks this transformation is starting Jan 1st, right? Which, yep. which it is. It is. But he doesn't know this part is happening, like, right now. No, nah, he's got no idea. Okay. So we're pretty much just going to go and ransack him out. Yeah. We'll tell okay. him we've got a surprise for him and then... Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? Tarao? We've got a surprise for you, bro. <laughs> he can, yeah, he can he's got his headphones on but he can hear us. He can hear yeah. us. Alright, we've got a surprise for you, man. What's up? We're a surprise, we can't tell you. you just Look at this, he's got cookies on his desk. <laughs> What's wrong with my cookies? He's bulking into the gen first now, isn't he? Uh, yep. Alright, Ted, let's go. Nah, bulk. Nah, it's a good surprise, come on. You have to come, it's part of your job description, otherwise... Have a job here <laughs> what do you think, bro? Time for a change? Oh, frank, yeah. Yeah, time for a change, eh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I like no change. No change? No change. Okay, it's getting yeah. cut. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, it's not a weekend away. It's just, we're just leaving the office for a few minutes, mate. The camera. He's packing his, he thinks we're going on holiday, mate. <laughs> Did I get the cookies? <laughs> So, Tids doesn't know where he's going, but he looks like he's prepared for absolutely anything. Oh, I've dude. I've only got two seats in my car. You knew what we were doing <laughs> today. <laughs> You're going to have to drive us to our, your own surprise. Where? Wait, what? You're going to have to drive us to your own surprise. Open it. Unless just, you want to sit yeah, on the boat. Yeah, let's nah, just open it for a second. We're going to see if could it we, works. Can we actually both get in here? Okay. No, we can't. <laughs> Bro, we can't. <laughs> Alright, so we just realised that all three of us can't actually fit in my car because we've only got two seats. So, we're going to get Tyrell to drive himself to his own surprise. surprise. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. You'll find out. Got your COVID mask. <sighs> out of breath. My stairs are a dick. <laughs> I like how we're making him drive as well. <laughs> we, we Driving to his own surprise. We make him get out of the office. He doesn't know where we're going. <laughs> he said, get on the motorway, so I'm yeah, getting to yeah. the motorway. I got a question for the you, Josh. Yes. How come you let Tids drive your car and I haven't driven your car yet? <laughs> the, oh, yeah. <laughs> Speak to Joe about that later. Yeah. Joe, yeah. we're coming up to the exit, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, is this exit up here? Yeah. So, we want to veer off. Are we going to my fucking house? We are. There's going to be a stop off there, yeah. The fuck are we going to my house for? Someone's going for it. Oh, fuck, fuck, wait, you guys. <laughs> 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 this, this, is not even this is exactly why we're here, to. <laughs> so you know how you're starting that Jeriff challenge in January? Yeah. In January, yes. Yeah. We thought, you know, we'll come here and give you, give you a head start. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to go ransack your house. The Clean out the pantry, clean out the fridge, um, just so you can get in some healthy habits before you actually start your GF challenge. But is uh, that your dog? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> does he bite? Yes. <laughs> Wait, does Seth actually know what we're doing here? Uh, no. Come on, Michelle. Do you think you can join? Bro, Ted, this is fucking. 
Morning. I didn't know this was part of I didn't know like we're like putting our lights. Touch my food now, dear you. We were planning to ransack the house. We didn't know we were gonna get our sex ransacked. Alright, so let's see what we can chuck out. Except for the fridge first, eh? Yeah. All alcohol. Coke Zero, that's a good yeah. start. He's, yeah, that's alright. That's not mine. Oh, it's not yours, it's okay. Just... To be honest, you don't have much to chuck no, out. Bin the alcohol. Bin the alcohol? Yeah. So I feel like the problem here is he doesn't actually have much kept in his fridge. Yeah. So he usually eats out. Oh, here we have... Who who gets a donut and only takes one bite out of it? <laughs> and saves the rest for later. <laughs> That's the like, I can't wait for tomorrow, so I'm going to have a taste. Yeah, Chicken it's, fingers and... It's Uber Eats. Nuggets. All types of nuggets. I thought there was going to be a whole lot of stuff we could chuck out, but... Oh, oh yeah. here the we go. Noodles, yeah. Get rid of the noodles. Yeah, I'd say I uh, checked the wardrobe. What? Check his wardrobe Mother in his Check the wardrobe you in his room. Check the wardrobe in his room. You mother <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so... Bye. Wait, does he actually not keep much of his food in here, Seth? Is it... I knew something was fishy. <laughs> no, Tids actually likes eating out a lot, eh? Yeah, I do. That's not my wardrobe. Okay. That's not my wardrobe. What? Oh my god, what the, what is this? L oh fuck, okay. Meal yeah, prep licorice. <laughs> okay, it's got it. Oh mate. Right. Burrito, Doritos, peanuts, like. Okay, we're just gonna get all this out. Like okay. you shouldn't have, Wait. like what are you doing? Midnight snacking? Good. What else we got in here? No, that's it, that's it. That's it. Oh Joe. Look at this. <laughs> get, look, what is that? Look in there. What the fuck? Uh, Who actually has a pantry in their own wardrobe? Late night snacking. Strings? <laughs> so this is all the junk that we are going to chuck out. We're not actually going to chuck it out because we don't believe in wasting food, but we'll give it to someone else to eat. But not for you. I'm chucking it out. I'm putting it back in there. No, you're not. All right, so we're gonna head to mine now. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna take some before pictures for Tyrell, right. get him hold of the JF challenge picture, and let's all go. Ted's mate, we're off. You can't leave without me because apparently I fucking drove. <laughs> Tyrell, um, we're gonna ask you 21 questions right now, so come and take a seat down there. Me and Brett are gonna quiz you, and I guess we just want to find out what is your why. So to start off. Why do you want to go through this transformation and what is the like driving factor behind it? More just general health, start living better quality of life. Yeah, good. What's your energy like normally? Shite. Shite? Shite. We well, you know when we go for filming and photo shoots and whatnot. A lot of these things I remember you coming to the office, they've been a problem for a while, you know, the lack of energy and that sort of thing. They were, they were an issue three years on, four years on, five years on. Why now after seven years have you sort of like asked for help? Um, guess I just sitting there wishing and hoping you're gonna do anything, so do something about it. Exactly. And the only way to make change is to start. Yeah. And you've taken the first Essent step. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> That's generally what it is. And accountability is so important. And documenting it for YouTube. Accountability is a big thing for me. If I don't have a reason to do something, I usually won't, which is why I haven't, mm -hmm. other than health, but what have been your barriers in the past, dude? How do you feel that the weight has impacted how you feel about yourself and then how has that impacted your mental health over the years? It definitely impacts it on a certain level. Like my mates will go out hiking and go on road trips and stuff and I'll just won't go because I know I hold them back Yeah. and slow it down. And I was like, nah, I don't want to be a burden and won't go. Or And so you feel guilty for that? Yeah. Yeah. Even though I know they don't care. Yeah. But I don't want to have to do that. There we go. Package delivery for me. Oh yeah. If there was a meeting outside of the office or something that you weren't included in, would that lift your anxiety up? Oh, right. yeah. The second, like... But why? The times that like Darius come into the office and be like, oh, Brett, can I speak to you outside? And then I'll just, my anxiety will just go through the roof. For what? no reason whatsoever. Like, I know I do my job and I, yeah. I think I do it well, but my anxiety will just go through the roof and just start like, oh, what's this? what if it's this, what if it's this, what if it's this? And then it's just... Oh, really? Everything's everything. And Shit, then we all like, kind of made that worse in the office, didn't we? He did. We had all kind of, yeah, especially <laughs> you, Brett. Um, Brett but he, but he, no, knew, he knew that, so he did it on purpose. Yeah, I knew um, that. You so, can't really explain it. Like, it's a hard thing to explain, eh? 
or describe like everything just feels down and you don't know why mm, were kind you of thing. getting out of bed or how like how just you be do we do you could be doing nothing you could be sitting there yeah. just watching TV and all of a sudden you'll just be it just hits you out of nowhere but no one looks at it. Yeah, I know. Like, that. I know that. <laughs> but you can't control Anxiety it. Anxiety is an irrational. Okay, whip your cut off. Kids, mate. We're going to take Tarell's before pictures. But then hopefully, after the transformation, he's got an amazing result. We're also going to get you one picture holding the Jareth challenge sign, just like that. So, for those of you that don't know, in January, I'm giving away $20,000. All you need to do to partake in this is be an active JRF client um, to post up your JRF challenge picture. So basically on a white piece of paper, just write JRF challenge, write 20K, tag my Instagram name, and then put the date that you are starting your transformation. So let's go, teach it off. Oh. Undress him, Joe. Cool. Okay, and we're gonna have him against his wall. Okay, yeah, sweet. What's that bruise on you for? Is that from? Oh, it fell over. Is I fell over. Is that from can you see I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can see it in here. But. I fell over. I fell over. That's what we need to say. Yeah. One. <laughs> Two. One. Oh. Two. One. Yep, let's go side on. Two. One. Yeah, I'm going to do a few of these. Three. Two. One. Okay, let's get one. Nah. Okay, so basically what we've done, um, we got Toyo's before pictures, his after, no, we didn't get his after pictures. We got his before pictures. Some other stuff for his OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> okay, we're running out of time. We're on a very tight schedule. We're supposed to be at a meeting in like 10 minutes and it's like 15 minutes away, but we forgot to wait Tyrell, which is like the most important part of the whole video. Lucky he's an expert <laughs> the whole <laughs> OnlyFans, so, right yeah. if you guys want to see more, swipe up and access his OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving the Bruises jeans on. priming, yeah. Read out, Joe. Starting is 104 on the dot. 104. It says, how do you feel tying those shoes? Frank, get out of breath, mate. That's going to be changing. That's how you got a problem, mate. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. What am I forgetting? Nothing. I'm a fire, I got too much energy Now I'm higher like a killer You can only pray for me I go harder maybe after you smoke on my